So what I want to tell you today is about work we have done uh, in the last couple of years, and actually it's not published yet. And um, most of this work has been done by Deb Dastaval and Jessica Bertolasso that are in this conference. And this builds on previous work by Avinav Kumar in my group. He was a PhD student and we have several collaborations. When we think about zeolites, we have to consider that these are materials that are porous and they have a very small pores. So the pores are between a few Armstrongs and nanometers. These zeolites are made of corning share, corning share in uh, silica or alumino tetrahedra. And because there is so much flexibility in the angles that they can form, there's a huge variety of polymorphs. Now, these zeolites do not appear in the phase diagram of, for example, silica. If you look at the many phases that silica can form, you will not find zeolites. Nevertheless, although these zeolites are metastable crystals with respect to the stable phases, for example, quartz, they can be formed.